Equipment purchased from reputable manufacturers always includes detailed installation instructions. The information presented here is intended to supplement the manufacturer's instructions. The information here may supply more of the why things are done rather than just the how. If any information given here conflicts with the manufacturer's instruction, it is left to the installer or technician to further research the conflicting procedure and to satisfy themselves and install the equipment to the best of their ability. There are a huge number of different refrigeration and air conditioning systems on the market with an equally large number of manufacturers. Fortunately, the components in all these systems are very similar. If a technician becomes comfortable installing one type of system, the procedure learned can be applied to many other systems. Also, the things learned during installation of an air conditioning system, for instance, can be applied to refrigeration and freezing systems in general. We will detail the installation of a mid-sized split air conditioning system using R22 as the refrigerant. Different refrigerants require different working pressures and different safety considerations. These should be well researched by the installer. We'll assume that the components are purchased from a reputable manufacturer and things like tubing size and component compatibilities have been resolved. These things are not minor issues and designing a refrigeration or air conditioning system from scratch is very complicated and time consuming. Mistakes are costly and although the equipment looks robust and sturdy, it can easily be damaged. Use the correct tools. It is an absolute necessity. Here is a list of required tools. A good set of hand tools, a good flaring tool, a good tubing cutter, a tubing bender, electrical tools like drills, hammer drills, cutoff saws, a reciprocating saw, a hole saw, a medium tank of R22, five gallons, a small tank of nitrogen, a few refrigeration tubing piercing valves and isolation valves, a refrigerant leak detector, a small bottle of red Loctite, soldering flux non-acidic, a small air compressor, small oxyacetylene welding set, and lastly, a good set of refrigeration gauges. The days of releasing any Freon into the atmosphere are gone. You must use a good refrigeration vacuum pump and refrigerant recovery system. After all that, be assured that neither the theory nor the installation procedures for these systems is complicated. Experience is the best teacher, so the more time you spend, the easier things become. Before actually starting the installation process, there are a few general things to mention. In a split unit air conditioning system, the compressor, condenser, condenser fan, the receiver if used, and some other small components are located outside the building. These components are usually contained in a sheet metal housing with louvers for the condenser air flow and are generally not watertight. The most critical point to realize when choosing a location for this unit is that there should be no place where the oil that runs with the refrigeration flow can collect. If a continuous downward path is not available for the refrigerant flow back to the compressor, then additional piping and or pumps must be used from places that oil can collect to route the collected oil back to the compressor. Damage to the refrigerant valves can occur immediately if slugs of oil or liquid refrigerant are returned to the compressor. The evaporator, evaporator fan, and thermostat with a small control panel are located in the building or room to be cooled. Obviously, the installation is easier if done during construction, but installation can also be completed after the building construction is finished. There are normally some electrical wires, low voltage control wires, and AC voltage for fan power wires, and two lines of copper tubing running from the compressor unit outside to the evaporator unit inside. There is also a water drain line to remove any condensation liquid. Welding is done with silver solder.